Hello everyone and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Let's see today one of the most effective ways to reduce the file size of your Revit model, often up to 40%. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, so to reduce your Revit model's file size, I'm sure you probably have known the typical methods such as doing purge unused or deleting things you no longer need in the model such as groups, family instances, views, annotations and so on. But what if you have done all of this and the model is still big? This file here for example is over 200 megabytes and I have done all I can to reduce this file size. However, I'm still not happy with this figure. Luckily, there's actually another way to reduce this number even further. Now, if you think about it, all the methods that people know and do, they only apply to cleaning up the active Revit file here, where you have your 3D objects, sheets, views, and so on. The problem is, your Revit file is actually built up using multiple families. So usually, it's the family's file sizes that actually determine the file size of the Revit model. Let's say you have some very heavy families, could be 1, 2, or even 3 or 10 megabytes each. If you use these heavy families in the project, no matter how tidy you are or how often you do purge and use, these families will still be there and weigh down your Revit file performance as well as increasing this file size. Of course, you can try to clean up these families yourself. If I now select, for example, this door here, I can then go to Edit Family, go to Manage, do Purge Unused, click OK to delete everything I don't need, do it a few more times until this figure is zero, usually three times, that's the magic number, and then load this family back into the file. So, that's all easy and quick to do, but imagine if you are in a big project, your Revit file can have 100, 200, sometimes a 1000 families. Doing this purging unused and reloading back manually can really take a lot of time. It gets even worse if I go back to the family now and check my nested components in this family. You can see it has nested families in here, and if you want to be really thorough with cleaning up, you need to do the same step here. So. You need to open this nested family, do the same thing, go into here, purge and used. This one is quite good already, but that usually is not the case. So once you have cleaned up the nested components, you need to load it back into the host family now. Then of course, you need to repeat the same thing for each of those nested components. Once everything is done, you can then finally load this back into the project. Overall, that's a lot of time wasted doing something that can be automated. Well, the good news is we have actually automated this for you. Simply go to Edits and choose RV Family Purge. This is not a plugin that comes with Revit, by the way. So if you haven't got this already, simply go down to this video description and use the link there to try this plugin completely for free. For me, I have got it already, so I can now click this. And it's going to scan the model here and list out all the families that can be purged. This list here, you can sort it by category or family name. For now, let's go back to category. So the same door family from before, this one here. If I want to purge it the same way I did, but automatically, I can just select it here, this one. Tick the box and do purge unused. Of course, you need to close the other families here. Otherwise, the result will be inaccurate. So back to Family Purge, select my door, click on Purge and Used, and then the plugin will do everything for you. That is now done, I can do OK, and the family has been purged so quickly and easily. The real power comes in when you have to do this for all the families or many families in your project. I can go back to here now, and maybe select a few doors along with a few casework components, something like this. Or if I want to clean up all families in this project, I can just go down here and click on Select All. With everything selected, I can now do Purge Unused. And now, as you can see in the progress window and the status bar down here, RV Family Purge is now churning through my 165 families, cleaning each one including nested components in each family 
load everything back into the host and then load all the host families back into this project. Of course, depending on how many families you have, the more you have, the longer this process will take. So it's a good idea to maybe save your model before this step. But once everything is set up, you can now just kick back, relax, and see the whole process automated in front of your eyes. Okay, this is now done. I obviously speeded up the video a little, so you didn't have to wait that long. We can now click on OK. And let's now save the family to see how much the file size has gone down. So it's the one there. I can now do save from 206 megabytes. It has gone down to 203 megabytes. That's not a big reduction, but only because we need to do here one more step. Even though many families have been purged and reloaded, the Revit model here still has a lot of obsolete data that it got from previous versions of those families. For the file size to go down as expected, we need to go back to Manage and then choose Purge Unused. You can see there, many things can now be purged. Let's do this three times. Second time now. And one more time here. This number now should be zero. Oh, there's one more. And now it's zero. I can now do save and see the results of our work. You can see straight away it's now gone down to just over 76 megabytes. If I now pop up my calculator, that's 76.6 .6 over the original file size of 206. You can see the reduction in this case is almost 60%. From testing many other files, the typical reduction rate in file size was around 40%. But you can see, like with this one here, sometimes it's even better, up to 50 or 60%. This wouldn't have been possible if you only do purge and use in a project. We need this plugin to purge and use all the families for us first, and then we do a final purge and use in the model. This whole process will ensure your model here is lean and tidy and has nothing obsolete or redundant giving you the optimal file size, in this case only 76 megabytes. If you want to do the same for your project, simply go down to the video description and use the link there to try RV Family Purge completely for free. Also, if you enjoy this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, enjoy using RV Family Purge and I'll see you in the next video.